Hey everybody and welcome to a wonderful video. Let's talk about the very new DLC that is about to come out tomorrow, the Ghostbusters DLC. In this video we are going to look at all the items that come with the DLC and if my calculations weren't wrong, there are over 400 new items. Yep, you heard right, 400. This is awesome. But before we're gonna get started, let me just um, get you guys a little bit of information because I've been invited alongside some other very cool people uh, to the Frontier office a few days ago and finally I can talk about that which is awesome and the thing is I haven't been too hooked up for the Ghostbusters DLC in the first place. Yes I love the movie, yes I love the brand, yes I love it but you know I kind of was a little bit split on I don't know on the uh, idea of an IP based um, DLC. The only thing we knew until now uh, or by now was the monsters and stuff you know these DLCs we had at the beginning with the Knight Rider and stuff and that was kind of yeah you know I don't know I don't know and then with the price tag this DLC has in mind uh, I wasn't too sure if that's a good thing but when we've been to the office and we got the demo of this um, wonderful Ghostbusters uh, DLC, I was freaking blown away. I'm gonna show you why, at least in this episode, in terms of uh, the items. Uh, it is really mind-blowing. And also, but I don't want to spoil you at all, I don't want to spoil you really, please make sure to look also, uh, watch also the um, Let's Play of the new scenario mode and I will especially talk about that a little bit more in the scenario itself because I feel like this is a perfect example why we have to pay so much tribute to Frontier. They really listen to us they really do listen to us which is really really great and I'm going to talk uh, about that also in this video but now let's uh, start off I'm not going to look at everything in detail because I don't want to make this video like awfully long um, but as you can see let me just give you an overview I put them all down for you look at that this is insane and these pieces are like I don't know this is just really really cool because they are not too crazily themed and most of them are also recolorable which is awesome it's, it's just insane because they are really usable pieces within there but let's start with the very obvious thing these are like the shop pieces we have also a new shop which is the uh, stay puffed marshmallows which is you know mr. obvious calling uh, captain obvious was striking again which is very cool and if we go a bit closer, you can also see here, this is a very nice and lovely a little advertisement sign. I quite love this. Alongside this, we also have obviously the shop. We have a vending machine of lovely marshmallows, which is also awesome. Um, I, I really love, like, if we go really close, look at that. You even can see the Stay Puft brand on these little things. I wonder if they will have it in hand. The guests, I haven't tested that yet. Uh, but we also have these wonderful pieces, which are a new part of the gameplay mechanism, which I'm not going to talk about too much. Um, they will be placed next to your pathways and they will have a special effect uh, in, the m in the gameplay mechanism uh, because the Ghostbusters, which are staff members, they will have to use these things. For those of you who have seen the movies, they kind of can think of what this is all about, but yeah. So then we have a wonderful choice of uh, these lovely ghosts, then they are all coming out of what is called a holodeck, if I'm not completely wrong. And this holodeck is also important for the new Dark Ride, which we're going to talk about at the very end of this episode, uh, because that's something very special. Then we have the very iconic Ecto-1 model, which is one model, it's not um, made out of uh, single pieces, but that's for a special reason, uh, which you're gonna see in my Let's Play. I'm not gonna spoil this in here, because maybe people wanna have fun. Yeah, then we have obviously the ghost traps, we have uh, some other iconic pieces here, we have the um, backpack in a small edition and in a big edition which is awesome and the level of detail is just it's just insane and I, I'm just I can't tell how much I love that they chose the uh, original version I'm also muting the sound a little bit because it's very 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 loud for me so I hope you guys will still be able to hear my voice uh, which I have to definitely check in post editing um, yeah you can see all these uh, lovely figures and characters over here have so many, these are all like uh, ploppable animatronics you can use everywhere you want, which is awesome. You know what, I just hit pause for a second, it's just too, in it's just too insane, there's just too much going on for me. And you're gonna get music in the background, so don't worry about that. Um, yeah, we have also a lot of these holo things from Mr. Slimer, um, and let me just show, I just wanna know how this one is called. Uh, let's go into the building. And this one is called the... Oh, actually, it's... 
it's just Slimer 5. Let me just show you. This should be a Ghost Scare. Okay, it should be called Holodeck or whatever, but I'm not entirely sure how this is called. But this is definitely the Holodeck, and with the Holodeck, um, you can make the Dark Ride. These are like shootable targets for the Dark Ride, but as I said, we are going to talk about that later in this video. Yeah, as you can see, before we go to our lovely uh, friend, the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, um, you can see that there is a city in the background, and no, I haven't built that city. This is a new biome, guys. This is a new biome, and and the coolest thing about the biome is, because I, I count that as one more piece, one more item of the update. Uh, if I hit play for a second, you can see there are even cars moving around. Like, this is the first ever biome in Planet Coaster that has movable objects, or like animated objects, in the background. Only in the background. I love this. I really hope that they take this as an example to go even further with this. But anyways, you can see from Mr. Marshmallow that he is... Um, gigantic but also piece by piece so don't worry about that you can just plop this all down uh, one by one and then just build your uh, stay puffed marshmallow man of your dreams however it's not recallable which is due to the licenses uh, of uh, Ghostbusters and they've been very picky to to make sure that uh, this is iconic and always stays iconic so this is why it's not recallable so bear in mind it's not frontier that messed up here it's definitely just a brand license and uh, license thing thing uh, so yeah that's it now moving on to something what I found to be really awesome this pack also contains a bunch of fake facades if you want to call them this way you can see there are a lot of facades having uh, kind of a texture even though they don't have a texture so if we go on you can see there's like no bump or whatever it's just a printed texture this looks you know it looks a little bit as if we would have used the uh, billboards but the thing is it's pretty cool because you can clearly create something in the background that is super nice looking and and you know it, it gives that additional vibe of a city without using any resources to the game which I found to be very very cool and a super great addition. So next up is uh, then something what I uh, in particular do love quite a bit and this is a bunch of scaffoldings. And these are all, as you can see, they are all in here and they are all wonderfully sized in very different sizes. The only downside is you can't really recolor them, which might be changed to the full release because I do have the preview um, of this one and I'm not sure if they're gonna be making them all flexi color. Some of these items uh, were not ex you know not 100 percent ready they've been ready but um we were uh, also asked to tell you guys that this is the preview build and the final build will also use um only these new pieces and uh, will all be pretty much finished and nice and awesome um but if we go further you can see there are a lot of different building sets so this is a new building set which is a city 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 uh, the city brick wall and the city brick wall has uh, various pieces we have uh, this one which we can recolor as you can see we can recolor that that one even which is so awesome you can recolor this little mortar in between which is so cool because that makes up for some really really awesome things um, if you just go choose a blue it gives this darker tint to it like giving it a bit more depth if you go in with a like grayish tone it kind of makes this all look a bit more rough I don't know it's just so great and on this wall as you can see there are oops I should have turned this around um, there are some really insane things which is kind of decal stuff and if you remember my Isla Napali episode um, where I've been trying around with my decals I don't know if they've seen that um, they told me they have seen some videos and got some inspiration out of that but I'm not sure if it was me because also clearly other people had the idea as well so um, however this is so cool that they have these lovely items in here which are as you can see these are just decals and this seems to be having opened our graffitis we should say this might have opened the world to decals which is so insane i love it because this adds so much detail again as you can see these little vents over here oh this is just awesome and now let's talk a little bit about who is on this wall now it's definitely matt p um i don't know it, who that is it's matthew maybe um i i'm not too sure who that could be. I'm also not sure who Red is, but I'm pretty sure that MFH or MFV, MFW, I don't know, might be Matthew Florence. Um, Sam is definitely Sam Denny, uh, the lead designer on most of the things here in Planet Coaster. We have John Law, the uh, creative director. 
and I'm not sure what that is, guys. I don't know if this is bow and kind of with a heart to it or whatnot, or if is it something else. I can't tell this to be honest. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if that's bow. So yeah, moving on because I said I don't want to spend too much time on here. We go to my next favorite items, and these are, as you can see, a new. Um, choice of uh, building fire escape ladders which is so freaking awesome because you can finally recall all these things if I remember correctly the other ones weren't and that's a bit of a pre um, oh yeah by the way I forgot we have even more decals down here some decals to be shop fronts and we have some other things like that which is not clearly a decal but still is like a theme park ish fake thing which I also love that they put that in it's really cool and yeah uh, some other signs as well for on top of that I even have this like, like kind of you know I remember people, um, or in particular the guys from Bro Nation, have used the Christmas piece as one of these um, detail vents and yeah, it's kind of not really usable in the way they did, but it's cool that we have this kind of detail in here now to, to put on the roof. Anyways, we are still not fine, it's just so much. Yeah, to every wall set, as you can see here is another wall set, again, fully flexi color, uh, even more than the other ones, which is just, oh, I don't know. You can even, as you can see, you can even just recolor the window plate. It's just so good. It's just so, so good. I, I'm really willing to say that this is the best pack ever in terms of items. It's just so really greatly usable and these are all like so barely themed look at this you can just use these items like everywhere you can use it everywhere it's so good i'm just so sorry to be so hype but it's i haven't expected that and this is the, the, the best sort of hype if you're just so i don't know i mean i have seen that you know in the office and in the demo but i'm still haven't seen all of them they just showed that very briefly to us um everything has been very strict due to a very good reason so um yeah i don't know it's it's just so freaking awesome i i can't i just uh, i have no words for it oh yeah i forgot about these things um the winds uh all, all in here as well they have all different animations hitting uh, play again you can see they're all animated obviously again uh, due to licensing stuff they are not uh, flexi color but that's not too bad so as you can see a lot of other things a lot of uh, details a lot of um, I don't even know this is like a city brick uh, corners um, yeah well it's also flexi color this one is flexi color flexi color flexi color it's all so good then we have the uh, wall piece set for the firehouse and even though I thought it wasn't flexicolor yesterday, I need to change my opinion because it is flexicolor. I thought, okay, maybe they wanted to have this extremely uh, unique and, you know, iconic shade of red. But no, you can obviously make this all flexicolor again. Look at that. It's just, I don't know. I can use this all for Islam Pali so much. And this is also the reason why I couldn't do yesterday's Napali episode, by the way, guys. So just to make that as a little point here. But, oh man. And just look at the, the, the just look at the detail it's just so freaking good and it's just i don't know it, it just makes me so happy that we have so much more in-game pieces even though we have the ugc stuff but it's just better to have like a professional set which is also optimized in terms of performance and it's just very very nice and then we are still not finished i know um and then we have a huge amount of pieces regarding the spooky central uh, some of them being a bit oversized but you know i think for the main entrance that's kind of okay that's the temple entrance but all the other pieces again they are all flexi color you can use them all over the place you want to use them um like oh look at that it's just so good it's just so good also again it has such a nice new texture which is really you can use that everywhere you can make like a modern city with it you can use it for like temples i don't know it's just so good definitely we also have a lot of new statues here and there um this is no item these are just two pigeons sitting around here because i like the items so much as well um yeah some small pieces some big pieces um i'm just moving around a little bit and then there is something i haven't seen before but this seems to be something new in planet coaster this is a diagonal wall as you can see i don't know when this has been added or if this was a thing even but this is definitely a grid piece which is now working as a diagonal piece i mean yes we had this these pieces over here we clearly had them but it's just very cool to have something like that i don't know it's just awesome and you can also use it like that so for example oops i should just put that on the right spot which i can't 
because this is too big. Okay, let's just put that in. There we go. Um, it just works so well together and I just love it. Again, then there is even more to it. We have some more uh, lovely items, uh, spook central wall, some variations in this. And then we have some Romanesque walls of these normal, uh, I think 80s, 90s uh, brick walls from uh, New York inspired buildings. I don't know, it's just, I don't know. It's, I have no words, it's just so good. And now, as I have shown you this, I'm still not entirely finished. <laughs> uh, man, Planko, what are you doing with me? Um, we have something in here, which is a wonderful, little, lovely, small... I, I was about to say small VFX effect, but it's the Ghostbusters swirling cloud, um, which is gigantic, as you can see, if we move out. Uh, it's pretty cool. You can kind of make, like, hurricanes with it, if you want so. Uh, we have some of these uh, electro-shocking uh, effects from the movie. So if you do like the movie, you do clearly know them. We have this mist over here, and we also have another uh, size of the mist, which I've put over to this hand side oh, and um, yeah that's about all the items in game which is clearly super amazing all right so as we have talked about this now in detail and you know again it's just very very nice it seems that they have listened to us so much because not only um, that the pieces are very nice, it's also that they've done stuff like that, like giving us the bare scaffoldings or giving us like decals that you can really use, uh, giving us all these wall sets also with open windows. Like, you know, remember these old wall sets? They also had like open windows only and you couldn't really do anything with it uh, and just stick stuff against it or just put a glass wall in. Now they all have windows already. Some may say it is already themed to a certain direction now, but you can still go in and retheme the windows to your likings if you want, make it a bit more old-fashioned looking, a bit more modern, whatever, but still you don't need that many pieces and you don't need to manually move in the glass again. And so that's very cool, it gives the whole thing a little bit more in-depth feeling. Um, yeah, again, we have also these kind of wall just even a little bit more glass going on in here. Um, two different versions of that. We have this lovely piece over here where the glass is just on top. So, I don't know, it's just very, very nicely indeed. They just listened so much to the feedback lately. And to bring that all in in a paid DLC where you have the brand Ghostbusters, which you can officially use in the game, which is just awesome. And then having so many generic pieces that you can use all over the place and you don't need to worry about that it looks too much uh, style to, to the brand. It's just really great. And I have to say, props to Frontier, that is amazing. So, this is the first scenario. I don't want to spoil anything that's going on here, so this is why I'm just quickly moving into the right I wanted to show you, because that's the last thing we have to look at. And this is... oops. Can I just, please, is that the autosave? Oh yeah, that's the autosave. So, we have a wonderful ride, and this is the Ghostbusters Dark Ride. Um, the cool bit about this is, and I'm not sure if they are moving now, uh, I just don't want to spoil too much, but is this test in testing or? Um, oh wait, is it broken down? It's broken down, right? So I can't really show you. Okay, let me just uh, fix that and I'll be back with you in a second. Alright, so the issues have been fixed and now you can see those people have some weapons in their hands, guys. This is a shooting right, you've potentially seen that already on uh, screenshots and stuff, but now let's have a look what people do if they move in. And yeah, some mist going on, I'm just moving with the car a little bit over here to see what they're doing. And now the car comes to a first stop. And here we go, now people are starting to shoot at the ghosts that do appear in here once you're riding it and once you're making it to a dark ride appearance. There we go, there are the ghosts coming out of the lovely holodecks and people are shooting. The coolest bit about this, it actually has a high score system, but I'm not going to talk too much about it. Uh, you're willing to watch my Let's Play so you can see what is happening in this over here. So I'm not going to show this even further to you because that's uh, uh, too much, but I can show you the ride a little bit more in detail. Yeah, it's just awesomely themed after the Ecto-1, which is uh, clearly, you know, hands down, that's obvious. And also that this is like heavily themed is also pretty okay because we do get the normal one as well, but this is 
is about uh, the free update, which I'm not covering in this video. So yeah, this is the update, but the other ride works exactly the same. It just looks a bit more generic. However, guys, that is about it for today's video of looking at the Ghostbusters DLC items. And let me just get these few last bits out here. This pack for me, hands down, is one of the best packs, maybe even the best pack. And I haven't been expecting that from the beginning. I have been very, you know, a little bit late, you know, I don't know. It, it, I was just a bit more waiting and I wanted to be a bit more restricted in that because I, I clearly couldn't see if it's good or not. But I have to say, it really convinced me and it really is super awesome. I hope you guys see it the same way because like, if we move over again and just have a little look into this overview and the ride and you know everything else about this pack, it's very worth the money. If you're loving Ghostbusters, I think even more and yeah. Also, the scenario mode, I can already tell you without spoiling, it's super good. It's a huge leap forward from the original scenarios. You know that I have a split opinion on the, these ones, so I can clearly convince you to say, oh, wait, 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 I just forgot to cover these ones, because these are potentially the best items. This is why I placed them here. Man, Rudy, what are you even doing? Um, this is also a lovely set from the library. If you've seen the movie, you clearly see the, um, the, the similar similarity to the first, very first scene, where the very first ghost has been seen. Um, yeah, we get a awesome set of a library, which is or like a bookshelf, which is filled one that is empty a chair and uh, Single books and a table so awesome now This is the point where I want to end this video today, and I hope you enjoyed this overview I don't want to call it short overview because it got longer than expected and yeah I hope you enjoyed and I hope you are really really curious for the Ghostbusters DLC I can only recommend it to you guys and hope to see you in the next one Make sure to like the video give a subscribe if you like this video and also make sure to join in for the next one until then have a great time bye guys Love